We end tonight with some pretty useful information. We've done a lot of stories about a lot of things, but I'm pretty sure that Anne Marie Berger's story tonight is the first one we have ever done about a phone number. Missouri and Illinois have seen a lot of weather this year. It was a tough winter, a wet spring, and this summer, communities throughout the region are threatened by rising rivers and levee breaks. The economy hasn't made things easier on people either. Gas prices are high, it's more expensive to feed a family, and there are quite a number of people facing foreclosure on their homes. During times like these, people are looking for help, and often it's almost impossible to know where to find it. It's a hard and complex health and human service delivery system, mm -hmm. and particularly pe for people who are in crisis, they don't know how to start. Where do I start this process? Especially for someone who's had an abrupt change in their life situation, they don't know. If you go to the phone book, it's, it's almost impossible to find what you're looking for. Thank you for calling United Way 211. How can I help you? But the United Way has launched a new information and referral helpline, which they believe will make it easier for those seeking assistance. You know, everybody knows what 911 is, and most people know what 411 is, and 211 is similar to those services. It's just a shortcut to connect to an information and referral call center. And Lutheran Senior Services is 314. Information and referral centers are just that. The operators direct those in need to the appropriate agencies that can help them. It's ultimately up to the person who, who calls us whether they're going to follow through on any of the suggestions that we make. Now the United Way has been offering an information and referral helpline through their 1-800 number to the residents of Missouri and Illinois for years. So what they're operating through 211 isn't any different, it's just an easier number to remember. They can remain anonymous if they choose to. Um, we do ask some questions of them. We may ask, you know, would you, would you mind giving me your name? If they don't choose to, we don't ask them or don't make them. The only criteria that we have is because we match uh, the resources that are available uh, using a zip code system so we can match them to the closest uh, resource to them, we do need to know what their zip code is. Currently, the 211 social service delivery system is up and running in Missouri, although at this time cell phones aren't connected with the system. They plan to make 211 available to cell phones in the nine counties in Illinois sometime this year. In the meantime, those residents without a landline in Missouri can still use the United Way's toll free number. And it's 1 800 427 4626. And they reach the 211 call center and are getting the same service as anyone else. However, they do urge people to ask for help sooner rather than later. Because if they wait too long, then if there's wait no long, place you can send them that, that can and, help And that's them. true. If so many issues, little problems become big problems if people don't know where to turn and get help.